Del Amigo High School in Danville is all set up to keep kids safe. They've got plexiglass and hand sanitizer, but when they reopened their classrooms last month, a handful of teachers and developmentally disabled students tested positive for COVID-19. The sad part for me is my class and myself, we, we were all guinea pigs. Guinea pigs on a system that did not work in our special ed classroom. Autism specialist Jan Gemina says she's disappointed and upset. Gemina has returned to her classroom on November 17th as part of her school district's phase two reopening, only to get COVID-19 along with nearly all of her students and fellow classroom staff, eight people in all. She ended up giving it to her husband. They're still recovering. My husband and I are both miserable with the symptoms, which has ranged from fever, shortness of breath, body ache, um, terrible, terrible headache, fatigue. Gemina says her special ed students are unable to wear masks. She says some seemed visibly sick, and sure enough, those suspicions were confirmed. And we apologize that this has happened. We are working hard to ensure it doesn't happen again. San Ramon Valley District Superintendent John Malloy says the district has learned from the incident. He says special ed teachers will now be given medical grade PPE, including N95 masks, and the district is making sure all staff and parents understand the safety protocols. This is emerging, and when we do have a circumstance like this, which we're very sorry about, we have to learn from it, and we are. The district is now gearing up to welcome 10,000 kids back to its 36 campuses on January 5th. They say they're working hand in hand with the health department. Gemina says she's nervous. She urges parents to do their part as well. Never, ever send uh, your student to school if you have even the slightest inkling that there's a concern that they might be set. In Contra Costa County, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.